to my channel. I am Mashad Khan. I am a first year Caribbean med student. So in this vlog, I've decided that I would be including some medical information or some facts in general that I've studied during the day. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And here we go. It's the same time, 9:25. Today I'll be reviewing the stuff for the week. All, all that was done. Basically, anatomy was the main part that I have to review and uh, maybe cram a bit. <laughs> So it's about 4.30 right now, i had been studying from 9, I had to take a break of an hour in between but uh, I think the second session after 12 was not that productive because I didn't get much done and now I'm going to the supermarket to get some groceries for my breakfast for the week. So. <laughs> It's the 8th of September and today is Sunday and today I finally slept for 7 hours. So talking about today, I just woke up late then did some housework and I went to the library at 2 and from 2 I was studying till 8.30. In that I uh, completed what was planned for the day. So I did the review for anatomy, uh, basically abdomen and the upper limbs. For today, as I studied anatomy of the abdomen, I have this here. So, as it's, uh, why do your upper abs uh, show more easily compared to your lower abs? So, the reason is very simple because you have abdominal muscle. These are your rectus abdominis, commonly known as the abs. If you see here, uh, you would see that these are the ab muscles and the muscle from the abdomen come and they form a layer in front and a layer at the back of these muscles but uh, this is above the umbilicus if you go below the umbilicus like here you would see that the layer from behind is going in front so there is a thicker uh, layer in front and that's the reason why your lower abs don't show so if you know breast cancer is quite common these days and uh, a fact about that is the uh, like 75% 60 to 75 percent of the times the um, breast cancer the lump would be formed in your this is your armpit in general language so here in the pectoral these are the lymph nodes so this is the most common area where you would find a breast cancer hey guys welcome back so today is the 9th of September 2019 and it's a nice day so today I was studying uh, anatomy from about 4 to 8, it's about 8.15 right now. So what I studied was basically from what we were taught in class. The descent of the testes, did you know that your testes are actually in your stomach or the abdominal cavity? And before you are born or sometimes by your second month after birth, they would descend into your scrotum, that is the pouch of the testes. So this, is, this diagram is basically showing how the testes come from the abdomen to, to the scrotum. Nearly an average person, there's about 60% of the uh, body's weight is water. So if you would want to calculate how much water you have in your body, it's very simple. Just take your weight in kg and multiply it by 0.6 so, and you get your um, total body water. So if I take like your average weight would be 70 kg and if you multiply it by 0.6 so you get your uh, total body water to be about 42 liters that's hey guys welcome back so today is the 10th of September uh, today today I was studying in my room uh, because I decided that I needed a change in the environment so I just came back home after school Today uh, I am feeling a bit stressed so I decided that I needed a change in the environment so I just came home and was studying in the room today evening from histology it's so what we have here is the is a slide if you can see here this is the slide of the umbilical cord so if you can see the umbilical cord if you see it under the microscope it would look like this if you are having a practical exam you would be seeing the slide like this and it would it might be difficult to uh, differentiate what this is and identify it so have a look at the slide uh, by moving it from the 
plate of the microscope and you would see this face like appearance of the umbilical cord so the same way in life you should maybe sometimes change your view to the problem and you might find the solution so that's all <laughs>
one third close to the bony prominence is the red point <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. Today is the 13th of September and today we had our clinical skills class where we did the sphygmo mammometer like how to measure your blood pressure. The there are basically three three types of sphygmo mammometer, the mercury, the aneroid and the automatic. Then we had anatomy and then we had the sections in the afternoon. I would like to talk about something very specific that happened with me today and I would like to share what happened. So we had this dissections about of the arm, and we had to go and uh, like talk about which vein is which one. So it was pretty easy, and I've done that so many times. I know that's on my tips, but I don't know because of overconfidence. Because I was thinking that this is so simple, I just went into being overconfident. Your overconfidence is your weakness. And when I went there to speak, I just sort of froze and spoke the wrong thing today and i really didn't expect to do that and a lesson learned is there's a thin line between confidence and overconfidence your overconfidence is your weakness please don't be overconfident this is a mistake that i did today your overconfidence is your weakness so now i'll be going and swimming and that's all see you <music> Thank you.